know if you've seen in past videos, I have worked on getting all this field bush hogged. I got this ditch cut. Obviously, you can see we've had some pretty heavy rains, and you can see where the water has been running through it, so it is definitely doing its job and letting the water come out of this field and funnel it and go on out. Uh, I want to fix it to where I can get direct access to the field. So I came across, thank you, Mr. Lynn, a good friend of mine who just pulled these old out of the ground and I was able to get these uh, just so blessed, right place at the right time situation. So anyway, uh, normally you would set these uh, with having one person help you, uh, either uh, if you've got the right piece of metal it's like an l bracket that goes up in hooked to a chain to lift it or you can just wrap a chain around the middle of it either way uh normally you have somebody on the ground helping to guide it and set it in place while one person's on the tractor uh, i'm going to attempt to do these by myself so i'll either get it done or this will be really entertaining for you guys to see <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get busy with the tractor, see if I can get these set. Uh, what I'm hoping I can do is get them set, set one and then move the next one kind of close and then go get the excavator and just take the bucket and just kind of nudge it and hopefully it'll slide in and lock in. That is going to be the game plan to try. Obviously, plans are always fluid and you adjust as you go. So anyway, guys, let me get on the tractor and let's see what happens. Well guys, so far things are going really great. Uh, it's a little bit challenge, but I've been able to get three of them down and all interlocked together. So my plans are with looking at how it is, I think I'm gonna do two more and then I'm gonna start uh, backfilling and get all of that locked in and covered up.
So guys, a very productive day. I uh, not finished yet, but boy, put a big dent in it. I'll swing the camera and show you. So I've got those pipe in, I'm back filled over. I'm still gonna work to build this up a little bit higher. And I am also going to work with my tractor with a pulverizer and maybe even the excavator. And I'm going to groom the banks up and make these a lot prettier. And eventually, uh, you know, these will all get planted in grass and, you know, fix it to where we'll just weed eat and mow and bush hog. Again, I'm gonna taper these out a little bit more. Uh, probably take all the dirt that I pull here and I'm gonna fill it in over there. But the big thing is, is now I've got access over to this side. And uh, again, the master plan is, um, will be, I'm going to fix it to where it is gravel all the way around this side, all the way around behind the shed and all over here. So you can come anywhere around the shed, even in the winter time, when we're getting all the rain that we get here. And I won't be dealing with mud, I'll be on gravel. So that's the master plan long term and obviously you can't get it all done at once so we just take this thing one day at a time so for right now tickle to death that this is all finished up so guys i will throw in on the end screens and uh i will include in the video before this to where i was going and unloading all of the concrete pipe uh, and using the tractor to do that uh, that's a pretty cool deal hope you'll check that out and for now, guys, remember here at Project Next One, there's always one more. So we got lots more videos with lots more projects coming. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. You guys take care, and I'll check you later.